the smoke and the sparks align themselves at the base of the helix. Now you need to go, let's move to the editor camera, let's see what I mean. At the moment, at the moment, as you can see here, I'll get closer, get as close as you can with the editor camera so you're not actually moving the scene camera. And select the rings null object which got the three exploding heads on it and drag it the three rings and the rocket at the same point at the base of the helix set to explode in different times basically what we need to do now is just select the null object and bring it to the same null object as the rocket so it's actually parented just bring it down in the list under the smoke so it's basically connected now to the rocket now we need to we still all editor camera remember we're not using the scene camera just move back so you can see the top top of the helix and go to the timeline turn on automatic keyframing to the keyframe create a keyframe on zero then create another keyframe at 38 then move it to 60 click anywhere on the side and back on the align to spline emitter and turn the position to 100% the red light come on, so that means the key has been created. Go back to the 38. And right click so it goes to zero. So now you've got three keys. Zero. Zero at start emission. And 60 reaching the top. Run the animation. Now we've got the rocket going up and exploding in three rings. The only thing we need to adjust is the emitter of the rocket. The sparks ends a bit too early, so that is quite straightforward. We'll just need to raise it. We go to the smoke emitter and change it to, instead of 50, to stop emission at 55. You'll have to adjust these to till you get the appropriate um, timing. 55. Both the sparks and the smoke. Leave the rings as they are, they are fine. Run the animation again. And now as you can see, it stops just before the explosion, which is how we want it to look. Okay, we'll set the first material. First go down to the bottom where it says user and from the list select fire and click yes for this one. So immediately we got some colors here. What we'll do is we'll change the last tab color into gray rather than black, dark gray and slide it to the right hand side. Then control drag it here and change this one to white and then control drag it again in equal amounts and change this one to dark orange you can experiment with the colors yourself 
So this is how this is set. You know, you drag this one as far as you can to the right. So there's only little and take this one to the end and change it to brighter yellow. Okay, so you got yellow, orange, white, and gray at the end. Okay, so leave all the rest of the setting as they are here. Volume 100 percent luminosity 100 percent and density 10 and then go to the age tab and set the slider on the left just drag it leave it as it is in color and just slide it to the center leaving that slider where it is the next one on luminosity give the left slider a darker shade of gray and leave it where it is then go to the black slider and just slide it about three quarter of the way to the right and we leave the color tabs as they are then we go to the noise and set make sure here it's set to FBM fractal set the regularity to 40% the grow radius leave it 100% the scale reduce down to 0 leave all the rest of the setting as they are here then go to the shape tab and leave the type to sphere but the radius you need to reduce to 10 millimeter leave all the rest of the setting as they are and that should be it leave all the rest of the tabs in the exact setting they were okay so this material is finished with we drag this material and apply it to the sparks then click on the second material name it smoke go to the globals go down to user setting and from the list pick the smoke answer yes to this one then we'll change the colors of the smoke here so just control drag tap to the right change the first one to orangey color light orangey color drag the gray one to the right, swap the grey with the white or whichever way you want to do it you need grey at the end slightly lighter colour grey than the setting the default setting that will give the smoke a bit of a we'll do a darker shade of orange there and drag the orange three quarter of the way so there's a little white and little grey at the end You can tweak this color to um, according to what setting you got it or how you want it to look. That one is set. Change the percentage on the volume to 40%. And the luminosity to 20%. The density you need to reduce to 0 0.2 otherwise the smoke will obstruct the actual sparks so you got a very fading smoke so this one here is set now we need to go to the age the 
color mix reduce to a gray from a black so it's not so dark leave all the tabs where they are and the reduce the top one just slightly make it darker slightly down around so slightly a darker shade than the gray or jungle was there maybe even darker but not black okay leave it as it is then go to the shape tab leave it as fill and on the radius increase it from 100 millimeter to 250 leave all the rest of the setting as they are and go to the noise make sure it's on fractal regularity increase to 100 percent which is the maximum here <clears throat> go radius reduce to zero keep the scale on 300 percent the blend peak keep at 80 percent all the rest of the setting leave as they are okay this one is now set let's switch that one off drag and drop the smoke material onto the smoke emitter go to the timeline play the animation stop the rocket when it reaches at the top <clears throat> do a quick render now you can see what happens here we can see the sparks but for some reason the smoke is not visible but the secret to that is quite simple simple create a light object and just leave it where it is on zero do another render and there it is the smoke now appears so always remember if something is not appearing try and create a light object the light won't actually show anywhere else but the smoke will pick up the light okay we'll stop here we'll go now to the exploding rings pick the third material and name it rings go to the globals and choose fire for this one click yes and give it leave the orange right at the end turn the black into blue or whatever color blue that's okay move it as close as you can to the orangey color then control drag it duplicate it twice the end one doing gray dark gray and the next one in white and move it close as you can to the right so basically got orange followed by blue and white followed by gray you can leave a little gap here between them and slide this gradient right over to the right so you got a mixture there of white and blue but you, you can create any colors you like this is not crucial okay so the then the volume luminosity and density leave as they are you need to go to the age and make sure check the use age effect we're not using it then go to the shape and reduce it to 30 then you need to go to the noise the noise make sure you go to the noise type and choose fire 
the regularity 100%, go radius 100%, with that as it is. Uh, the scale increased to 800%. And leave the rest of setting as they are. That should be it for that one. Now we need to do a quick, we need to apply the material to all the ring emitters. Once you apply the materials, do a quick preview render, just to see that everything is uh, showing properly. This render will take a bit longer than the usual ones. I'll speed it up and come back to you when it's finished. <clears throat> and there it is, complete. What you could do, I'll show you just one thing you could do. If you wanted to reduce the length of the emitted particle of your rocket or increase them, a quick way around it is to go to the friction and if you want to shorten then just increase the friction by one or two <clears throat> so I set it to five and you'll see the difference I have to play the animation again Now do a quick render. Now you see the length of the emitter's particles. It's been reduced. So simply by altering the friction setting, strength, up or down, you can alter the length of the particles that are coming from your emitter. If you want to reduce the brightness of the smoke, simply go to your light object and reduce the intensity to 50% or 40% and um, that should affect your smoke particles as you can see here they are much darker so play with that rather than do changes to the setting on the material thank you for watching the tutorial and look out for any new tutorial on this subject in the future